Tipperary Institute tutorial on Robocode. In this tutorial we are going to look at the code behind my first robot and try and figure out and analyze how it behaves. In the previous tutorial we saw that my first robot was able to move around the screen and detect a, a device and fire at it. Let's recap on this behavior by creating a battle. So here we have a battle and in the battle we have my first robot against a very simple tank called Target which moves around the screen if its energy drops by 20 but does not shoot back. We click on Start Battle. As can be seen my first robot does move around the screen is able to detect the target and fires. So our behavior observations would suggest that it does a 360 swoop with its cannon or its gun as it's known, it then moves forward and back and when it detects the target which is called a scan event it fires. So let's have a look at the code so we can click on stop go into robot editor and my first robot is actually found in the subfolder called samples. So we're in C Robocode robots from there we go into sample from sample we open up the code and you see it's called my first robot and click open we then maximize the window so we have full view of the code so some things to notice about our code well the first thing is the first line line number one package sample this is the package it belongs to and it actually also associates my first robot with a folder called sample so if you wanted your robot to, to belong to a different class of robots such as schoolbots, your package name would have to be schoolbots. We then import the robot code. We have the name of our robot which is my first robot and that must match the name of the file at the top myfirstrobot.java and it extends robot. In the main section which is called the run section which is the run method it's a seesaw method as the comments here are in green and it says while true move ahead turn your gun move back turn your gun so it is constantly looking what causes the robot to fire well what causes the robot to fire is what we call a scan event on scanned robot what do we do we fire we fire a very weak shot which is of strength one you can fire s shots a lot stronger than strength one however they do use more energy so some decisions or tactics have to be decided possibly on what strength you should be firing at. And if I'm hit by a bullet, well, what do I do? Well, I, I just turn left 90 degrees or perpendicular from where I was hit. Again, it is very simple. It doesn't even move when it's hit, you may notice. But again, if it turns left, the main method jumps in anyway if no other, no other event has happened and will move the robot ahead 100, turn it right 360 and move it back until it scans and when it scans, it fires. It is a very simple robot. Uh, however, it is a good robot to look at just to learn the basic behaviors of Robocode, and that concludes this tutorial.